Hey everybody, Morgan here. I've been trapped in my transcribe for the past 50 minutes, reading through all of the notes, emails, and listening to most of the audio logs that I found ever since I woke up to this mess on this station. And I, unfortunately, still have no idea what the fuck is going on. I have all of these pieces, and I can't seem to put them together into a complete package that is satisfying enough for me. But, I noticed some things. I want to issue an apology at first. I have been very critical of people's password discipline throughout this station. But then I found this old email that I sent to my good buddy Jason Chang. Where I told him to set the password to my office to 0451. It seems I have no password discipline myself. So I am in no position to judge anybody from this point on. Just wanted to make that clear. And I have been thinking for a long time... That <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop pretending to be Morgan here. I have, I have, I shit you not, for the past 50 minutes, read every single note, every email, and almost listened to all the audio logs in this game. It was insane, but it was a lot of fun. I wrote down some notes, and um, yeah, I did not arrive at a conclusion, unfortunately. I feel like I'm missing some pieces to put all of it together, unless I'm just too stupid, which is okay. At least I'm having fun with it, right? So that's the important thing. So you may be wondering, why am I standing here looking at this earth? It's honestly just because so you have something to look at, because I'm going to be talking for a while, okay? <laughs> so I, first off the bat here, now, I spent like 50 minutes doing this, okay? And I thought, huh, maybe in the future I should record that stuff and put it up for you guys. You know, it's not very exciting, I guess, but it could be one of those... It could be an interim episode, like episode 29.5 or like 28.5, you know, something like that. Not a real episode. Like, you could choose to watch it if you wanted to, but you don't have to. Uh, stuff like that. Let me know in the comments if that's something you would like to see. Uh, it's not going to happen for this game, though, just because this episode is going to be in the far future, and yeah. Okay. Uh, a couple small things, I guess. Uh, that I want to mention, because I did clear up some stuff while going through all of this, and it was kind of nice to just get a refresher on absolutely everything. It really was. I did discover some big things, I think. Or at least I have new ideas. So, um, one thing I want to say is that just a small misconception, I think, that I misunderstood earlier, that I think I understand now, is that um, regarding Volunteer 37, who I think is the cook, right? By the way, where the fuck is he? Is he up here somewhere? I don't know. Maybe he's in Alex Yu's office. We have to see when we get in there. Um, but, so, he bit off Tokachi's fingers, remember? And I thought that... He was supposed to have this encephalectomy, right? They were going to remove his brain. But then he somehow uh, acted out, right? And bit off her fingers. And then the procedure stopped. And then later on he escaped or whatever. That's what I thought. I don't think that's the case anymore. Because when I was going through all the emails. So he was um, eating these objects, right? He lost his mind after having been exposed to the telepath. Uh, but somehow still he was resistant to it. That's the one thing, right? But he seemed to be eating all these objects, you know, like nutritive and non-nutritive were the words, I think, used in that email. And uh, so he would have things in his body, right? Foreign objects. And in another email, they write that they were going to try and perform a endoscopic exam on him. Uh, specifically his esophagus. That's like the throat area, right? So I think while Tokachi was doing that, she had her hand down his throat. That's when he bit off her fingers, you know? So, it's just a small correction, but I think that's what actually happened. Nothing of importance, I guess, but it's just fun. Um, could maybe also have something to do with... Uh, so, if he is the cook, which I think he is, maybe he was, I don't know, eating parts of the people in the freezer, you know? Because he, he was eating the finger and he just seems to eat things because he's fucked in the head. I don't know. Um, yeah. Another thing, a big one. I think I understand what happened during the evacuation, guys. So watch this. I, ha I have proof. I have arguments, okay? So I listened to all the audio logs, almost. And I listened to the one with Sarah Elisar again. And during that audio log, she is saying, or he is saying, Matthias Cole, that is, 
that, oh, you must have felt terrible during your um, participation in the evacuation, your tour of duty there, you know? Uh, and he said, to what must be something like a natural disaster? And she said, no, it's a man-made natural disaster. Okay, that's the one clue. The other clue is from the first uh, part of the evacuation. Uh, I'm actually going to pull it up because I can't quite remember the words for this. But I know it's somewhere down in the bottom here. I've been through this menu a lot. Okay, I almost have an instinctive idea of where things are. <laughs> it's kind of nuts. <laughs> here it is. Survivor's account of the evacuation day one. So the last part is the interesting part. Some people were running with me, but we didn't know where to go. I saw a policeman directing people into a basement restaurant. And remember, this is just from some survivor on the f on the ground, right? Uh, I think it was an old bomb shelter. I looked up at the sky again and saw an airliner. It was not military, I'm certain. I think it was going to the airport. While I watched, it turned into glitter without a sound. It was just gone. A man near me began to curse. I fell down and hit my head on the street. So... Do we know of other things in this game that make things disappear and turn into glitter? Recyclers, right? I think this was a man-made recycler disaster of some sort. Not quite sure how that would happen, but I guess something must have gone off inside the plane. But then also sort of everywhere in the city or something, because it's called the evacuation. As if it's something on a huge scale, you know? And it makes sense that she would call it glitter, because, or like he or she, I don't know. Uh, on the, uh, That person was on the ground looking up at the sky at an airliner flying, right? So quite a ways away. And such a huge object getting recycled would produce a bunch of small uh, cubes of material, right? Gray material, green material, all kinds of material based on what is being recycled. And it would rain down like glitter from a distance. Tell me that doesn't make sense. Huh? I think something happened with recycler technology. Okay. That's one thing. Then I also uh, listened to the audio log between Matthias Cole and Daniel Show again. Uh, because I was wondering, why is it that Daniel Show is angry at me? You know? Uh, we sent that voice log to ourselves in that um, October operator on our desk. Just a small thing. I just wanted to get to the bottom of that. Um, but Daniel Show uh, is saying that we're putting the station at risk during that recording. Meaning me and Alex. Okay, so we're putting the station at risk. Or maybe she's mostly talking about me, I don't know. Uh, and maybe that's why she hates me. She seemed very angry in that recording, right? And by putting the station at risk, I think what she really means is that she's referring to me having made operators without authorization. Because we also have emails where she's angry about the fact that uh, there's unauthorized operators roaming the station, right? She was trying to talk to Alex about it. Um, so I think that's just why she's angry. That's it. I mean, it's not. It's nothing big. I just wanted to put it out there. It's something I got to the bottom of. Um, another big thing is actually the audio log that we sent to ourselves. Or not sent to ourselves. We made for ourselves. That we found inside of the uh, safe in Alex Yuse's office. It's actually a big one. Like, there's something very ominous about it. Let me see if I can find it here. It's called... Hold on. I keep having this dream. Let's hear it again. Once things get as bad as they probably are, your only option is to escape. Get the word out about what's happening on Talos 1. Alex has a private escape pod. It's locked up. I made a copy of the key and hid it on top of the data tower, near the chair. You know the one I'm talking about. Listen. There's more at stake this time than just us, or this station. If just one of those creatures made it back home, then we're lost. I keep having this dream. Here we go. I'm just staring into the black between the stars. There's something there. I know there is. I just can't see it. But it sees me. I can feel it. Hate us. I know you know what I'm talking about. Or you will. Soon. There's something very ominous about that because we are not the only people on this station 
that have had dreams like this. Lorenzo Calvino also has dreams like this, but in his dream, he is standing in front of his looking glass, right? And he's seeing a shape in the glass. And he feels like that shape is also uh, out to get him. You know, similar to how we feel this thing hates us. Um, and not only that, there are multiple people on this station that have had these dreams, right? Um, but also, there's someone on Earth who has nightmares about this stuff. Little kids. Remember? One of them sent a drawing back. And that was a drawing very similar to the Rorschach drawings that Matthias Cole was showing to... Uh, Lorenzo Calvino, and he got all upset about it, asking, Oh, are you spying on me or something? You know? So, there's somehow some kind of telepathic connection between all humans. That's what I think is happening. And, you know, Dio Igwe, he's a little bit of a loony, I guess, or he was considered loony. Uh, not anymore, I guess, because, uh, you know, he's the last guy laughing at this point, I guess. Um... He was theorizing that all humans had this ability, right? In uh, one of the notes, uh, in the very beginning of the game, we actually found this. Like 39% showed telepathic uh, powers or whatever, or... I don't know, something like that, you know? So, it's almost like there's this hive mind between all humans, and maybe we just haven't uh, d developed it or something, you know? But, I think this is also somehow connected to... This other theory that I have, that I'm a Typhon. Because if I'm a Okay, so I'm a Typhon. Project Cobalt. They inject me with uh, human neurons. Specifically, Morgan's mirror neurons. Right? And as a Typhon, maybe I have different dreams. You know, maybe my nightmares consist of... I don't know, Typhon shit. And that's, that's maybe what I'm seeing. I don't know. Maybe it's relevant, maybe not. But it's gotta have something to do with these visions we're also getting. Or like flashbacks, I don't know what they are. But at various points in the story, we've had these weird flashbacks. You know? And I think one of them is the flashback back to... Um, Project Copult. Maybe where they were injecting mirror neurons into me. Me as meaning uh, Typhon... Whoever I am. <laughs> you know, Mike Typhon. I don't know. Um, but it's somehow related. The thing I just can't fucking understand here is how to put all of this together. So on one side, I have the theory that I am a Typhon, and I'm quite sure of it. There's a lot of stuff pointing to it, right? P Project Cobalt, um, and all the other arguments that I've made in the past about that. Okay, that's, that's on one side. But then there's the other side, the facts. You know, we know what happened. We wanted to test the longevity, or the, the long effects of implanting and removing neuromods from people, right? I, Morgan, volunteered for that. Together with Alex, we set it all up. We're simulating this shit. Um, I just don't understand how it's all connected to the whole theory about me being a Typhon. One of them has to be wrong, I guess. I mean, probably the Typhon one, but I just need to see how that all connects. It's very, very confusing for me. I'm definitely missing something, I think. This game is very complicated, man. I'm loving trying to put this shit together, if you can't tell. I'm having a blast. Um, yeah. I've spent a lot of time talking right now. Honestly, at this point, I almost just want to say, Jesus, take the wheel and let's just play and see what the story feeds me. You know, or what the game feeds me. Um, yeah. But it is fun trying to piece it all together. The thing that is confusing me about the, uh, the apartment simulation and all this with the operators... So, I don't think October ever got made, simply because it's right here, you know? Maybe it was the first prototype we tried to do, given that it's also the earliest month we know of. Um, I think there's a November out there somewhere. We know there was a December out there, who's now gone. And January is, is out there. December wants us to escape the station, right? And um, I guess that Alex found out about that whole thing... Because he removed the... Or, or he took the actual key for the escape pod that was on top of the data uh, center next to the chair, right? So he knew about that somehow. Um, yeah, that's also a thing. How did he know about that? But the thing I'm confused about is... If I was getting Neuromods removed every day 
and installed every day. So my mind was reset every day. I was living that apartment simulation for I don't even know how long. In one of the recordings uh, about Morgan's breakdown, Matthias Cole actually says, this is the fifth time we've had this conversation. So that would suggest, unless he's lying, of course, I'm going to assume he's not lying. That would mean that um, Morgan, I, I had a breakdown super early on during this. Like, it didn't take long for this continuous installation and removal of Neuromods to make me lose my mind. Or at least change my mind about the whole testing. You know? So what I think happened is that after five days, I had this breakdown. And we know there's some personality drift involved with uh, the installation and removal of Neuromods, right? They were tracking this stuff. Um, I lost my shit during that uh, talk with Matthias Cole. And it was such a big issue that they even had to uh, encrypt that whole thing and delete the files. Remember, there was a whole issue with that. Uh, they were very nervous, uh, nervous about that stuff. A like Alex, that is, and uh, Hendrik de Vries and Matthias Cole. Um, so what I, what I think happened is... In the beginning, I, Morgan, was totally on board, you know, oh, let's, let's fucking do this, you know, I volunteer, let's get this shit tested, let's do all of this. But then it was obvious that I had changed my mind, because I lost my shit during that uh, conversation, right? And maybe Alex didn't like that. And that's when he decided, we're gonna extend testing indefinitely. Because there is also an email in the very beginning that says something to the effect of, someone asking, why are we extending this testing? Right? Um, Morgan's behavior. Let me see here. Urgent. Daily tests. At this point, Morgan's exhaustion is inhibiting our ability to get any useful results. That's to say nothing of the long-term damage we're likely inflicting from the constant neuromod installation and removal. Tell me again why we've extended the testing indefinitely. Let me take on my best Alex impression here and answer this. Morgan, he wants to stop the experiments. I can't let it happen. <laughs> you can tell I've lost my mind having been in this fucking transcribe forever. <laughs> I think that's what's going on here. The thing I just still under don't understand is... This suggests that we've been in inside that apartment simulation for months. Right? Otherwise, why have we called these things October, November, December, January? It would suggest we've been in there for four months. So maybe after the five days, the decision was made to extend testing indefinitely. Four months go by. And during those months, I somehow am able to craft these operators. I just can't understand how that works because I'm losing my memory all the time. Of course, they're trying to keep me updated every time I lose my memory. You know, with some testing results. I just don't see how I'm able to craft these things. Uh, having lo losing my memory every day, you know, it's, it's it's very, it's very interesting. So I've been speaking for a long time, man. This has been 20 minutes of me just rambling. I'm sorry about that. You should not feel bad in the future if you want to skip this sort of stuff. I get it. Don't worry about it. I'm going to get back to uh, kicking some ass now. Now, I am excited. So first of all, where the fuck is the cook? I'm guessing he's in here, but because where else could he be? Unless he just went to somewhere else on the station, I guess it's possible. 303. Alex Yu. Let's see what's in here. By the way, there's all kinds of other things that I realized looking through all these notes just now, but I'm not going to mention it because it will take forever. Yeah. I'm going to mention certain things if they come up naturally and I see something relevant, you know, that relates to it. Ooh. Book six. Wait, have we had book five? I'm not sure. Anyway. The Starbender Cycle, Book 6. Excerpt from Book 6 of the Starbender Cycle by Fetcher McMarvin. The three sons of Bel Keller were melting into one another in the sky, twisted in their death throes as the Dark Star Anomaly devoured them with disconcerting alacrity. Trevor had managed to navigate the deadly debris whirling around the anomaly and crash land Empress Tourmaline's Royal Raptor Cruiser at the base of Mount Mool, the synthetic geopyramid which they were now surmounting. <laughs> oh my god. They stood panting beside a synth stone altar, its receptacle pulsing with crimson light. One minor detail I left out, Trevor, the Empress said between labored breaths. We've put this into the altar and it devours the anomaly. 
taking us with it in the process, Trevor replied, a wink in his grim smile. You knew the whole time? Trevor wrapped his fingers around hers, both of them now holding the starbender prism. I was born for this, Trevor replied, and he pushed the prism into the altar. You know what? I'm starting to like this. This is growing on me. I like this Trevor Pulsar guy. He's cool. Neuromod, nice. All right, Alex. Other than your exciting uh, books here. <gasps> Whoa! What the? Why is he standing up like that, by the way? Oh, oh I see, I see. So when they stand up like that, it's uh, they're about to jump. <laughs> I was wondering just for a second there. Because it does look kind of weird, doesn't it? Fancy cabin, I want to say. Very cool. Get this chair out of my face. Transtar Rewards Program. Oh, right. I read that one. Actually, I read that one like 17 minutes ago. 17 minutes and 20 seconds ago. No, that's not true. 27 minutes. I'm kidding. <laughs> Go on, get in there. I'm a little silly right now, okay? My mind is a little bit of a mush. But I'm having fun, man. This is a great game. All right, Alex. Cough it up. Trouble with Illusion. I think we read this one. Yeah. I actually just read this just before. It's kind of funny. I went through all the emails, dude. Um, yeah. That one I read. Security footage. Ooh, Sarah LSR to Alex Yu. I cannot find any camera footage of Chief Illusion leaving Morgan's quarters. It either does not exist or it has been deleted. When questioned, Morgan said it was an engineering matter and does not want it filed with human resources. If you want to know more, I suggest you speak to Morgan directly. I will follow up with Chief Illusion as ordered. Okay. Huh. So wait, am I on... Michaela's... I guess I am. I'm on Michaela's side here? Hmm. Morgan said it was an engineering matter. Okay. I guess I'm just covering it up or something? I don't know. Michaela, follow up. Sarah LSR to Alex Yu. I'm speaking to Chief Illusion. She admitted the visit concerned a medical matter and requested the visit not be misconstrued. Oh, that's probably the visit where I told her that it's time to stop. It's time to stop. You know, I need to go into simulation for a while and uh, we, we can't do this. But then I told her that it was because of her paraplexus, right? That makes sense. Upon your orders, I reminded her again if there has been any change in her relations with Morgan Yu, she would need to notify HR. I considered the matter closed and would prefer such inquiries be left off my duty roster in the future. Okay, now I'm not so sure. Because this, this seems to suggest that they already knew about our relationship and this is after the fact. I don't know. Weird. Maybe she just wanted to uh, check up on me because I was ignoring her in the hallway, right? Because of my memory loss or whatever. Psychoactive charger. Another thing to remember is, whenever they remove neuromods from me, I would essentially lose every memory I've had on Talos 1. Because they wanted a clean slate, right? Like a pure mind. So I, all of my memories I ever made on board Talos 1 are essentially gone. Whenever they remove the Neuromod. Psychoactive Charger. What's that? Slowly regenerate Psy? No thanks. I'm good. I mean, we seem kind of close. We all have this photo. Ooh. Null Wave Transmitter. Very cool. Is there really nothing else on this computer? I was expecting something more substantial there. <laughs> Wait. What? The boxes are not moving? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Seems like he wasn't very interested in using this treadmill. Given the boxes on top of it. Doesn't surprise me. Also explains why he may be so fat. Another indicator. We gotta get to the bottom of this. <laughs> ha 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 ha. 
Oh, the veggie blends. I don't understand why anyone would eat that on a space station. You can eat it on Earth, just not on the space station, though. Ocetra caviar? Of course, this guy would have the old Sardar bourbon. That's what he likes. There's got to be more. I'm losing my mind. Come on. I was expecting something big in here. Terraforming Mars. He's been reading about himself on the toilet. He gave that interview, you know, where he held that gray moss or whatever. Saying, oh, this thing is going to transform the surface of Mars. What? Hold on. Is that everything? I mean, I'm not disappointed. It's just very surprising to me that there would be no more in here. But okay. I guess the big thing was his office, if anything. What are you hiding on your sheets, huh? Very well made bed, I gotta say. Okay, I guess we're going back. Now, did I do anything else? Or do I need to do anything else here at... I gotta go outside, man. I gotta go outside. What's up, Don Davis? The man who moves after death. Kind of incredible. Whoa. Stop scaring me. I guess I scared myself. I walked into it like an idiot. Okay, hold on. Let me just quickly take a look at this map again and see if I can find anything that looks like the treasure maps. Because I have just looked at the treasure maps and I have a good memory of it. I... Hold on. No. Nope. Kind of want to recycle real quick. Let's just do that. Recycle and then we leave. And then we go to Hardware Labs, actually. We got to go to uh, Trauma Center, too. Oh, yeah. That's going to be good. Oh, sick jump. Wait, where am I going here? Wrong way. It's over here. Here we go. In you go. And do we have some extra weapons? Doesn't look like it. Oh, man. I want to upgrade that. How many do I have of the upgrade things? I don't think I have any. We gotta get more of that. Or craft more now that we can do that. Look at this. Confetti. You see it? Glitter. Okay. I think we're pretty much... Uh, actually, hold on. I want to go back to the kitchen. I want to see if that guy somehow made his way back there. The cook, that is. Or the wannabe cook. I do wonder why he is immune to the effects of the telepath. You know? Also, can I... Can you make me a we pancake? Oh, yeah? It's probably true, then. Actually, nice that I'm here now, because I want to make something. I want to make... What do I want to make? Where is it? S no, not that one. Wait, where's the uh, weapon kit? Weapon kit? There. What does it cost? Ooh, a lot of minerals. Let's make uh, one or two. Let's make two of them. Yeah. Awesome. I want to upgrade the golden gun, of course. Let's put in more damage. Oh, that's already full. Nice. Uh, I guess range and accuracy are kind of important. Uh, accuracy. Yeah. Nice. Beautiful. You know what? Let's let's switch over to it from now on. This is going to be my new gun. Uh, can I say... I need to change the keybind for that. How was that again? Silenced pistol. 
Oh, but this is not gonna be silenced then? Is that the difference? Oh, it is silenced. Never mind. Okay, cool. Very nice. All right. I spent a good time in the crew quarters, man. I really did. Maybe a bit too much. But it was fun. Like, this place was great. I was hoping for some good lore here, and we got it, man. We truly did. And now we also have the voice samples to keep going. We can go to uh, deep storage now. But I want to go back to hardware labs first. And I also want to go outside. So we can go maybe inside of that little room that was uh, where the Technopath was. Up in the uh, executive suites. Wait, what, 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 what? Oh, they're fighting. Wait, what? Uh-oh. Who's surviving? Let me also, uh... Machine mine, huh? Let's try that. Also, I gotta heal. Good evening, Towers. Mr. Tucker from HR would like to remind you Shit. that if your personal data has changed since the previous pay cycle... Oh, he's on my side now, right? Him but only for like 20 seconds, hold Mr. on. Mr. Tucker's office is on the second floor of the lobby. Okay, I gotta hack you. Immediately. Oh, I didn't get hit once. Ah, shit! I don't think I've had a flawless run yet. Shit, what am I doing? I'm faltering here. Go! Oh, he's stunned, I guess, still. Can I repair you? I cannot. Weird. What's up, bro? Oh, that's sad. Okay, whatever. Do I have access to here now? Oh! Oh! No! No, 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 no. We're leaving. Nope, 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 nope. I can't deal with you right now. I cannot deal with you right now. You motherfucker. We gotta evade. We gotta evade. Is he gonna come down here? Where's the mimic? Come on, operator, go fight the uh, nightmare. <laughs> oh, is it that guy? Oh, it's out there. It, I, it can't get in here, I don't think. Oh, I don't want to go out there. I'm too fucking scared. I'm going to wait it out down here like a pussy. I don't care. That thing is terrifying. I could try to kill it. Hello? Oh, we scan it, of course. Scan, 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 scan. Why, why won't it scan? We're out of range? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. These things are following me, too. Oh, that do so much damage. What if I use... Can I use one of these on him? Mind Jack. <laughs> There's something inside of me. Oh, I'm gonna Mind Jack that guy. And maybe he's gonna help me against the Nightmare. Hey. Ooh. Where did the nightmare go? Oh, he's coming now. Oh, he's coming now. Get him! Oh yeah, look at that! He's fighting him. Oh, he's not fighting him. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Get him! Wait, what? Recycler? Something got recycled just now. Fuck you. I want to kill him, dude. I'm doing good damage with this golden gun here, I think. Oh, yeah. Okay, we got this guy coming again. We got a machine mind him. No, we got to mind jack him. Get him, get him. Turn around, turn around. No, 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 no. Wrong way, wrong way, sir. That is not okay. You asshole. Alright, fine.
Good news is, I don't think the Nightmare can get in here, so... That's nice. Okay. Where did you go? I have 30 shots left on this. Nightmare's almost dead! Oh, I got you now, I got you now! Yeah! Fuck yeah. Ooh, 30 organs. Typhon Cortex. Holy shit. I have become the nightmare here. Look at me. I am the nightmare now. Also, I'm gonna use this. See ya. Next. Oh, we had a guy over there. Oh, I'm just gonna use the mind jack on him. No, yo, mind jack, and then we're gonna mess him up. Oh wait, I can't hit him while he's mind jacked? No way. Oh shit, okay. Uh oh. Uh oh. I think we have to use a EMP here. Hey, that's for you. Oh yeah, where's your electricity now, huh? You silly goose. Thank you very much. Man, I'm unstoppable right now. I'm a killing machine. I did kind of abuse a little bit of a situation over there. Wait a second. There's coral here now. Wait, was that here when I arrived or did it happen after I killed the nightmare? Hello, are you no, wait, there's also the over there. What the fuck? Yo, this station is being enveloped in coral. Bit by bit. Insufficient Typhon material found. Oh man, this is getting weird. It's getting real weird. Oh, oh, okay. Are you my new supervisor? Welcome to my land, bitch. Techno land, hacker land. That's where I live. Come on. Oh, we're doing great. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Okay, now that you have been hacked, will you be able to heal me? Let's just test. Wait. Is that the medical operator I dispensed earlier? He's been corrupted? No fucking way. Convalescence? Dude, I love the detail in this game. Like, they get corrupted and they start saying weird shit. The patient's blood pressure requires abnormalities? Jenny King? Uh, what is that sound I'm hearing? I'm hearing very worrying sounds. Oh, the sound stopped. It must have been this. Okay. Wait, where did... Didn't we have an extra operator? And all the turrets have been destroyed, huh? Like, what's happening here? Oh, shit! That's the other medical operator. There you are. You get hacked. Come on. Okay. Shit. Nice. Alright. Another potential danger taken care of. Dude, the coral is everywhere here. I love how the actual station is just... I don't know, like getting worse and worse as time goes on. Like, I don't love that, but you know what I mean. Wait, what was that? Oh. 
Let's just put you back into place. Also, we gotta check on this. Has it finally grown? Dr. Howard's Superfruit. Nice! We harvested it. Let's see what it can do. An experimental fruit produced by Dr. Howard's growth formula. Uh... Eat? Ooh, full sigh. And we got a status effect. Hold on. Increased health regeneration and stamina. Cool. Can we just keep doing this? Did you find a mimic boy? Oh, you did. Thanks. Lovely. What? You, what? Oh, there's another one up there too. Oh yeah, I see him. Oh, you fucker. I'm gonna get up there. I'm cleaning this station, dude. I can't have this infestation here. Typhon's gotta go. Get this. Taken care of. Where did your shit go? Ah, whatever. The operator in here seems to be okay. Where did that mimic go? There you are. I see you, you fucker. You can't hide from me. Rodney Pool is dead. Wait a minute, where was that person here? Maybe she went to uh, deep storage to meet up with the other people that were there. Elisar was there, right? Hold up with someone. Okay. We have sufficiently cleaned the Arboretum. It's time to move on. So, I want to get outside. And where was the access to outside? There was a... Oh man, where was that? Actually, it was down in deep storage. Yeah. Because I'm gonna go via outside to Hardware Labs. That's a cool way to uh, combine going outside, which I wanted to do anyway, with going to the Hardware Labs, which is what I wanted to do anyway. Nice! Ooh, hello there. You're on my side, that's nice. Oh, shit. Are you hiding in here? There you are. Hey! Where are you... Where are you going? I have no more ammo for that. There we go. Man, this has become a complete infestation. Holy crap. It's only getting worse. Oh. Scan. That thing's killing a mimic in the at the same time. That's perfect. Etheric phantom. Oh yeah. I forgot how to do. Oh wait, wasn't this the Q beam guy? Oh look at the coral. Man, the shotgun is truly the solution to most problems regarding Typhon, isn't it? <laughs> It's fantastic. Where's your loot? A word from our security chief, Ms. Alazar. To protect oh. your coworkers' oh. privacy, there it is. security terminals are reserved for authorized uses only. If you're not wearing a blue uniform. Yeah, whatever, dude. I don't care about your status message to me. I want to upgrade this even further. I want to give it more accuracy. Nice. I feel like I'm getting more comfortable with the combat in general here. Oh, that was sweet. Okay. I kind of want to see if anything's changed up here. Is a coral up in Alex's uh, office? Wait, why is the sprinkler system marked? Hold on a second. That's weird. Huh? Did a mimic get in here? 
in the interim. Yeah, I think we're good. I think we're good. Okay. Just wanted to see. What a mess. Uh, down here. Down here. Okay, I'm not gonna go there yet. I'm gonna go this way now. To the exterior. Get easy. What are we dealing with? Oh, let's be ready for potential enemies. Damn, look at that. That's beautiful, huh? And look at that. That's the Arboretum. Huge glass dome. I wonder if these cameras that are orbiting here are actually visible to us if we can get to them. That would be a great little detail, wouldn't it? It would be so small, though impossible to spot unless they emit light. Unless... What is that? Don't tell me that's actually a camera. I'm going there. What is that? You see it, right? There's something up here. I'm gonna keep going. In fact, I haven't tried to just keep going yet in this game. Like... Oh, the shuttle! Oh, let's go there as well! Perfect! This is awesome! Wanted to go there anyway. What is that up there? Oh, wait. I think that's part of the background. Oh, 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 oh! Am I getting hit with s solar radiation? Get back, get back, get back! Holy shit, is that what's happening? Yep, yep, yep. Okay. We went, we went outside the magnetosphere. That's actually... What an elegant way to put an invisible wall. That is incredibly convenient and fantastic. It's such a good way of doing it. That's amazing. Oh, this game is just incredible. What can I say? Wow. Okay. Let's see if we can't fix this. We have radiation sickness. I believe we have something for that. No. Anti-rat. Don't split the pills. Stop. How do I... Ah, gee. Fixed. If only life was that easy, huh? I think that's part of the background. I don't see any enemies. Alright, let's go here. Oh, look at the shadow. So good. Alright, let's go. We finally have... I believe it was repair that we needed. We got that now. I mean, we've had it for a while, but still. Also, we had this one. Did we ever get to read that? Book 5. It's the one we're missing. Excerpt from Book 5 of the Starbender Cycle by Fetcher McMavern. McMarvin. Trevor, get up. Trevor lifted his head to find the source of the voice. His brain was foggy, and he hadn't heard his old name in what felt like ages. Here he was Ka'oli, and the dimin diminutive cliff dwellers of Dranthor called him King. Rolling out of his royal cot, he allowed his eyes to focus on the figure silhouetted in the doorway to his royal cave. He knew that uniform. He knew that stance and disapproving glare. Empress Tourmaline. How did you find me here? The subdermal vacuum adapteron we had you install came with a beacon. 
I tracked it here after beating Mercy to death and taking back the prism. I still need a crack pilot I can trust. Assuming you're through playing royalty with these timid rock humpers, that is. Trevor untangled the tumbleweed crown from his matted hair and reflected out and reflected on his responsibilities to his meek and bethreatened followers. Just one thing before I go, Trevor picked up his ceremonial koala stick and strode out into the light. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. I take it back. I hate this series again. I'm, it's not growing on me. In fact, it's, it's the opposite. It's the opposite. Here we go. Emergency power, turn on. Oh yeah! Fuck yeah! What have we got in here? Neuromods. Okay, so a bit of uh, storage, huh? A bit of uh, extra loot, okay. I was kind of hoping for some a little bit of more lore, maybe, I don't know, like a hidden passenger, like a special guy in here, you know, or like, I don't know, something regarding the shady shuttles. Because <laughs> this is a shady shuttle, isn't it? There hasn't been a shadier shuttle than this. Flight course Earth. So basically, we just, or this shuttle right here, left the space station. And then, what whatever happened here with the Mimics, I guess, or like Typhon, happened right after, before they managed to get back to Psychotronics and deposit these guys back there. Because they were not intending to put these guys back to Earth, I can tell you that much. Nope, sir. Okay. Pretty dope. Pretty dope. Okay, next up. I need to get to Hardware Labs. Let's go. I don't know how much I should explore the exterior here, just... Like, hold on, there's something up there, for example. Let me just go see what that's all about. And we also had that place in, um, Crew Quarters. Where we could see from the inside that something was wrong on the outside. Kind of want to explore that, too. Yo, what is that? It's like some sort of grabber thingy. With mechanical arms? Kind of looks like those things from... Uh, the Abyss. You know, the underwater submarine thingies. That's really cool, actually. Okay. So, hold on. Where's the... Uh... Oh, it's gonna be impossible to find the entrance to... Oh, no. Crew quarters right there. <laughs> Never mind. It's not gonna be impossible. Let's see if I can't recognize some of these places from the outside while I'm here. So, I've been there. There were supplies in there. Crew quarters. Have I been there? I think I have. Oh, that that's the cafeteria. That's the upstairs of the cafeteria. That's the downstairs. So that means this... Oh, man. Are we about to go to our office? Wait a second. There's no way this is modeled. I refuse to believe. We are not going to be able to look inside, right? Oh, hull breach, crew quarters. There it is. I think uh, this is my office. That's Alex's office. Yep. Uh, I think. Uh-oh, we've got a cystoid. Oh, shit, they're close. Whoa. Get out of here. Where's the cystoid, though? 
or the the big guy. It's just like nest. Hmm. Is there a better way of doing this? What if I stun it? What happens then? Okay. Not bad. I guess that works. Oh. Something is aggro on us. Oh, is that the Technopath? Got him. Where's the nest? Board member. Oh, what's going on here, man? This is fucking awesome! Executive suites? Ooh! There's the Technopath! Yep, 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 yep. We gotta, we gotta get some health here. Holy shit. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is he coming? He's coming. Oh, shit. Go, 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 go. <laughs> I'm gonna lure him out here. And then we're gonna test our newly upgraded Q-beam on him. Get some combat focus in here. And then equip our Q-beam. Let's try this. Oh god, this turret is shooting at us. Oh crap. Oh shit. I gotta heal. Oh, I have no more health? I only have food. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh, this is bad. I might even. Hold on. Can I still damage it when it's like. Oh, it's almost dead! Oh shit, we're gonna die here! Pistol! Remaining ammo! Okay, it's not working. Oh, this is terrible. Just kill me. That was a fucking disaster. Holy shit, I have no idea how to fight the Technopath, I just realized. I gotta read about them again. How the hell did I kill them last time? Oh, wait, was this the stun gun? Was that what I did? Oh, no. I think it was. I remember now. Okay, let's go. I have a bone to pick with that guy now. Holy shit. That made me angry just now. We gotta go murder him. Wait, where's the exit? Here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, we gotta go to... Uh, bum, 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 crew quarters. So I went like... I went up there. Oh, crew quarters. There. There we go. I see the breach as well. But I will actually read about them. Just to confirm here. Uh, let's see here. Tell the... Uh, technopath. Take control of nearby tech. If this thing gets a hold of turrets, you're dead. Yeah. That's what happened. Shrocks off glue. Prefers to keep away from enemies. Stun or null wave it to get them close. You know what? Can I not just uh, machine mind? If not him, maybe the turrets. Oops, no. Back, 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 back. I can machine mind the fucker, right? Let me just save the game here as well. Just in case I mess things up again. What's up, fools? Okay. Nice. Sistoid nest. Oh god, I hate these things so much. Okay. Now the plan is to eat some cornflakes. And then we're gonna machine mind it and see what happens. And then into stun. Do we have enough? Let's reload. Let's see how this goes. Oh shit, it's too far away. Okay, we can get out of range. That's something. We gotta let him get close here. Oh shit, he's out of range. Come closer. Here we go, here we go. 
Got him. Wait, what happened? Oh shit! Oh shit! Stun him. Oh yeah, that works. That's beautiful. There we go. You like electricity, huh? Well, me too! I love it! Oh yeah, goodbye! Fuck yeah! Uh-oh, my loot. Come here! Nice, I got it. <laughs> the last one I killed out here uh, got away, so... That feels good. Wait, something's still... Here. Oh, there's something inside of that room. I see. Oh, you know what I think happened? I must have uh, mind-controlled this thing. And then because it was an enemy, the Technopath killed it. Or at least damaged it. Come on. Uh, don't fuck this up! Ah, oh, thank god. That was close. Just repair it. So board members, huh? Hello. What's up, dude? I'm just gonna kill you. Yeah, that's right. Thank you. What do we got here? Too far, too fast, too? This is a very empty room. I haven't heard much about the board members, actually. 313 board members. Oh, there's a thingy in here. Radiation cystoid. Yep. Hello. Easy. Doesn't it look like these rooms were empty? Like, there's, like, nothing in here, almost. Far scan? Increases the range at which Typhon can be scanned. Now that is something I would love to have. Yeah, dude. I'm gonna remove this one. Oh, enter. Get that one. Lovely, that. That's lovely. Okay. Yeah, this is very empty, isn't it? Let's see what's down this way. That's the door I saw from the other side. Will and Kathy Yu! My parents. Okay, I'm gonna explore that in the next episode. We're gonna cliffhanger once again. Thank you for watching. I'm having an absolute blast with this. I hope you are as well. I hope you're having a great day. Thanks for watching. I'll see you.